Hi everyone, I'm Amanda at the Vermilion Public Library and we have story time for you today. This is the last story time of our spring session. We're going to take a break for the month of May, get ready for our summer reading program. We're hoping to have some in-person story times this summer, so keep an eye out on our Facebook page, our website, or give us a call and check in on that as we get closer to June. Um, but today we will be reading Sam and Dave Dig a Hole by Mac Barnett. On Monday, Sam and Dave dug a hole. There they are with their shovels. When should we stop digging? asked Sam. We are on a mission, said Dave. We won't stop digging until we find something spectacular. You know what spectacular means? It means something super, super cool, something amazing. The hole got so deep that their heads were underground, but they still had not found anything spectacular. We need to keep digging, said Dave. Do you see anything spectacular in this picture? Here they are in the hole, they're digging. The dog seems to know something might be over here. That looks kind of spectacular, doesn't it? So they kept digging. Look, they passed that one right by, but they're headed right towards this one like a huge diamond. That would be spectacular, wouldn't it? They took a break. Dave drank chocolate milk out of a canteen. Sam ate animal cookies he had wrapped in their grandfather's kerchief. Maybe, said Dave. The problem is that we are digging straight down. Yes, said Sam. That could be the problem. I think we should dig in another direction, said Dave. Yes, said Sam. That's a good idea. Oh, look, they were almost to it. Now they're going to dig in a different direction. I have a new idea. Look, they went right this way. Let's split up. Really? said Sam. Just for a little while, said Dave. It will help our chances. So far they haven't had great luck, have they? So Dave went one way, whoop, and Sam went another, whoop. And look, they missed something else spectacular. But they did not find anything spectacular. Maybe we should go back to digging straight down, said Dave. Yes, said Sam, that's a good idea. So they decided to go straight down and look, a huge spectacular diamond. Sam and Dave ran out of chocolate milk, but they kept digging. They shared the last animal cookie, but they kept digging. There they are. What do you see way down there? Do you see it at the bottom? Looks like a bone. That would be pretty spectacular for the dog, wouldn't it? After a while, Sam sat down. Dave, he said, I'm tired. I cannot dig anymore. I'm tired too, said Dave. We should take a rest. They must be really far underground. Sam and Dave fell asleep. Dog kept digging. They were taking a nap. The dog fell right through. The bone was falling, the dog was falling, and then Sam and Dave were falling. Sam and Dave fell down, 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 until they landed in the soft dirt. Well, said Sam, well, said Dave, that was pretty spectacular. And they went inside for chocolate milk and animal cookies. And look, the dog got his bone, and they maybe dug all around those spectacular diamonds but it was still quite an adventure, wasn't it? Thank you for joining us for story time today. Um, make sure you take a walk out to Prentice Park. We have a story walk out. Um, the book is We Are Water Protectors and it's the newest Caldecott winner this year. Um, it starts on the west side of the pool, right by that mailbox drop off. It starts there and it winds through the park. So we hope you take a moment to walk through the park and enjoy the story. 
the very last page, there's a QR code if you scan with your phone. Um, you can let us know that you participated in the story walk. It helps us know how many people are enjoying it and it gets you an entry into a special prize drawing. So we hope you enjoyed today's story time. We hope you enjoy our story walk and we hope to see you this summer. Bye.